COVID-19 has slammed Taiwan's service sector, particularly industries including recreation, retail and hospitality. But many businesses hope the long weekend will send some much-needed footfall their way. The four-day tomb-sweeping uh, long weekend began on Thursday. Restaurants, department stores and theme parks have put a raft of health precautions in place to give extra assurance to customers. Shoppers disinfect their hands as they walk in the department store. Then, they're directed past thermal cameras that can detect if they've got a fever. To cope with large crowds over the long weekend, one department store in Hualien spent over 200,000 NT on extra screening equipment to prevent congestion at the door. All throughout the department store, signs remind shoppers to stay at least 1.5 meters apart. Ahead of this long weekend, we installed multiple point thermal imaging equipment so that people can pass through screening more quickly and be safer inside. Hotels have also stepped up health and hygiene measures for the holiday crowd. Besides standard disinfection and temperature screenings, this hotel restaurant put up signs asking guests not to chat at the buffet line. Every person checking in must fill out a health declaration. These stringent public health measures have been well received by the guests. We put up signs at the buffet asking our guests to keep chatting to a minimum while getting food. The seating has been modified to put more space between diners. The space between them is now at least 1.5 meters. Outdoor facilities have also ramped up the restrictions. At this theme park in Xinzhou, each ride is regularly disinfected. Rubbing alcohol is available all over the park for visitors to use. As visitors enter the park, their temperatures are taken. If the temperature is over 37.5 degrees, they are refused admission. We've also set up many disinfection stands all over the park, so guests can sanitize their hands with alcohol. Operators of tourist attractions have launched discounts in the bid to lower visitors. They hope their safety precautions can keep the customers coming despite the pandemic.